All right, guys, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and back with another Raid Shadow Legends free-to-play mystery shard-only run video. All right, let's take a look and see where we are at. We have 29 mystery shards. We have 858 ancients. We have 178 void shards, 18 primals, and 62 sacreds. Uh, nothing going on here. There are 36 mods, same as it always been. Uh, we have 79 of Taya, so we will be getting her next month. We have 75 of Thea. We got three this month so far. However, we got stuck on Bommel. We may mess with that today. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, we we're working towards that. And then we are about to get, I believe, the next 15 pieces for Arix. So we've got two months left on him. So hopefully within the next two months, we'll have two new legendaries, which is actually kind of exciting. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Remnant, we don't have to worry about. So what have we been doing? So honestly, I've been very busy. <laughs> We've been very busy doing stuff, but you can expect to see a champion spotlight on Grumbler very soon. He is uh, basically he's done now, right? Yeah, I did. I, I got his skills maxed. We've got his masteries done. And yeah, he's ready to go. So he's actually pretty good. I mean, I actually don't have any problems with him. And then Iterant, we just started working on uh, his masteries. Now I'm going to assume that we're probably just going to build him normally. He has Leech, right? He's got a decreased speed debuff, an increased speed buff, and he also decreases max HP. So, yeah, we probably do want some accuracy on him for that decreased speed. So we're probably just going to build him like a normal normal guy. Basically, just all the normal stuff going down to War Master or, or possibly into uh, Helm Smasher. Have not decided which one yet, but there we go. Let's just unlock some stuff. All his accuracy things that he needs to be a big, growing young boy. There you go. Look at all that. All right, so we're good. So he's got some of his stuff done. I put him on auto, I think, yesterday. So we're probably going to do the same thing today after the video. We'll probably just put him on auto and get him ready to go. And Because uh, right now we don't have an EXP boost right now. I, I literally haven't been playing. I had it for five days. Uh, we are going to get another one from the clan shop, so that's good. Uh, his skills, we still need a few. We're probably going to max that right now, actually, because we do have the clan reset and the quests, the shop right here. We have 500 coins. I still have two more quests I have to do, but we have enough to buy all these fun books to get iterant, ready to rumble. I love when we get the five books. That's like my favorite thing to see in the shop. Oh, look, we have a legendary book in here, too, but we aren't going to be able to buy that. So, oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so let's upgrade his skills real quick. Let's see what we get. One, two, three. Oh, that's right. I forgot max. There we go. I forgot they changed things. And that's going to give us points for the thing, which is good. All right, so how many skills he needs? He needs a couple. One. Okay, let's just max it. There we go. So four books we're going to waste right now. It's four epic books we just wasted. <laughs> I said, screw it, right? Let's just do it. So now his, his skills are maxed. We have one ancient book. We have all these legendary books. So either way, we have a bunch of books. I'm fine with it. We don't have anything coming up outside of Taya that I have to worry about. So we'll have plenty of time to get some books. Now, how many points do we have? So Clan versus Clan is running right now. I have to hit 10,000 points, I think. Yeah, we're only at two. I thought I got 2,500. That's weird. All right, so I... Either way, so we're gonna we basically go in here most of the time for clan versus clan, and I will just essentially blast through some stuff. Uh, I don't need to use anything else for here. Normally, I would sell off everything quickly, but we're just gonna do it this way because it's a lot easier to just click stuff once it's all done. And literally, I just forge all this crap like because it's it's the best time to do it because one, it's, it gives me a bunch of, of silver, and then two, it gives me points for clan versus clan, which is very nice um so i don't really forge stuff unless there's a quest that i need to do oh there we go actually i'm getting a lot of really good pieces from affinity breaker i usually don't have that that's actually usually bad uh keep that all right so let's just stay away from there now perception i think we can do 10 so perception though we are going to use these actually no we don't have enough do we no we can't do but we're going to do the big ones we're going to use all of our, not all of them. We're going to try and save some. Uh, that is not good, but we're going to, yeah, we'll keep it for now. Because these give us the most points if we get a six-star legendary. There are 200 points just for that one piece. That's actually a good piece. I like that. It has speed. Clear out all this nonsense. That is blue. It's not bad, but I'm going to sell it. I don't, I'm trying to stay, I'm trying to start focusing on better gear rather than just like, you know, using stuff that I was like, oh, it's good enough. Like we're starting to look for better stuff now. What is this? Accuracy? I don't really need that. I don't know when I would ever need accuracy on a chest outside of something specific, but I always sell them <laughs> and I'm getting rid of blue stuff too. We don't want any of it. All right, we'll do one more. Boom. We got legendary. Cool. Keep that. And the other thing I do here is the same thing I was always doing is we'll go into this uh, I think we have enough, right? Yeah, we don't have enough here. So basically, I'll just do the same thing here, and we'll just craft all this. 
and then maybe we'll have to sell some of it off because we're sort of slowly run out of gold but we're going to have a ton of gold once this is done and we'll just blow through a bunch of these random low level things so we got 500 we'll go down to like 300 i like to save at least a little bit for five star stuff because it's you know reasons that and it's always good to have an extra i don't i try not to go further than i need to go all right so this one we can do one there you go this is a lot of gold that we're gonna be getting too which is nice all right so that's fine untouchable we don't have to worry about i don't think i have yeah we'll just leave this we'll leave that for whatever all right so this we can't do five we'll just hold that for now uh this we can do not much right yeah these are garbage pieces of gear so why not let's just do a couple blow through all of this crap bloodthirst we don't have enough for 10 guardian we definitely have enough for 10 right yeah we do 10 on guardian we have a lot for guardian man that's a lot did you see that look at this this is how much i do guardian all right, so we're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna get a lot of gold from this. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of gold, uh, but it's great. That's what I'm saying. Like it's great. You just freaking blow through all this, and you can just sell this off while getting points. And it's my it's my favorite way to just get my points right off the bat and be able to get all my rewards. I mean, we're just getting crap loads and crap loads. Every time we do this, we're getting like 200 plus points. Sometimes you get a a bad one like that, where you get 85, but it does happen. As long as we get a couple of legendaries here and there it actually is good 105 where are we at 300 we'll leave it there uh fortitude we have a couple do we have this yes nice we can do 10 on fortitude i don't waste my uh what is that my whatever those things are called i don't waste charms on those we're, you know we'll do a 10 here why not might as well get some points uh lethal uh this is the this is the one that we have going now right this is the forge pass i'm not gonna lie i have completely been ignoring F forge passes and a couple of other things recently i'm trying to save my time and unfortunately forge pass is one of those things that we just don't care about that much anymore um although you should care i don't think you shouldn't care i'm just telling you that i don't <laughs> all right so what do we got now we went from 2000 to 9700 so we're literally right at the threshold of getting what we need so we're gonna do let's see what do we got resilience we'll do a 10 here so we need three basically 300 points cut 75 there we go that should be it collect all right so now we've got our we've got our rewards boom look at all that we got free rewards all this fun stuff and now we have our exp boost that we can use to level up heroes for two days so that's good and we got a bunch more coins, and then we'll be getting this very soon, and we'll be good to go. So that's basically, I mean, we have a $10,000 uh, limit on our clan, so you don't get any rewards until you actually hit that mark. So yeah, that's why I'm doing that right now. But either way, it's a good way to just kind of get a bunch of points right off the start and just clear out your inventory and get some gold so that you can maybe do some upgrades. Because upgrading gear gives you a ton of points during CVC, so that's nice. There is going to be a new fusion, apparently which we're gonna talk about here real quick. So Incarnate Fusion, it uh, looks like there's gonna be a Fragment Champion for a new Legendary of High Elves. I mean, once again, we're probably just gonna get the rare, I mean, the Epic, and that's about it. I'll get one copy and call it a day. Uh, we did also get two Prism Pulls, which I actually posted up about. And if you go into my Champions, into my Vault, Reserve Vault, you'll see that I have this lady, uh, what is her name, Est uh, I forgot her name, Estima. We have her at plus two because I literally got two of the same freaking hero on the two prison pulls and yeah, I just empowered her. And yes, I know she is part of the fusion, so you could use her for the fusion later on. However, I don't care about the fusion. It's going to, we're talking like years before I even think about getting them. If I don't have the legendaries, it doesn't even matter. So we're just going to ignore it for now. But yeah, that's where we're at. Let's look, let's, you know, we'll take a look at it. How's that? We'll see what we got. Fusion. So i have two of these heroes three so i would have to hope for a prison pull of the exact heroes that i need for one two three four five so five heroes i would need the exact pull from a prism in order to get these two heroes then i would have to find out a way to get these which is probably only going to happen in a tournament like they did last time where you have to be number one to get it so what does that mean it means that i don't care about this <laughs> um but yeah, I mean, if I ever get these guys and pull them and we get, you know, these legendaries, I would, I can build these and put them into my vault. That way we have these two legendaries. It's not, like I said, it's not super important to me. We don't really have to worry about it too much. Um, we can fuse 
Relic Keeper over and over again if we want, though. So that's fun. <laughs> Maybe I'll just start building up a bunch of Relic Keepers and just start fusing them during the next thing. All right. So as far as where we're at, what are we doing? Clan Boss. I think we did. Yeah, we haven't even really logged in today. I had my dog. I had to take her to the doctor this morning to get her stuff done. Uh, all right. We got some free stuff. I've been lazy here. So we get 800 points here. Uh, sell that. Maybe we'll get something good here. We did not get anything good here. We got garbage. Garbage. All right. So that's fine. Uh, we're working on Nightmare, but I don't think there's much here that we need to do at this point. I'm slowly building up my speed on my team, and I think we're going to eventually... I think we're getting close. Like I said, we're pushing like 35, 36 sometimes, so we're getting there. I just got to figure out the right composition and the right gear. Curse City, I believe, we basically stopped as soon as we hit where we were. I could conceivably run through this and get some more you know, freebies. We have four days left, so maybe we'll get like you know stuff like this. We'll run these kinds of fights and hope for the best because I don't really need anything else from here. It's more just like kind of extra stuff that you can get when you have time to kill. We just run through the city and see how many things we can get. But otherwise, there's not much to do here. We are still working on faction wars. I think I don't even know which faction was open today. I think it was what was it? Undead, not undead. Uh, high dark elves. Dark elves was open today, so we basically blew through our keys there. And we're just going to start working on those few heroes that, like I said, I need for Faction Wars. There's not much new going on. Uh, we did have a Fire Knight win. So that did happen on the live stream. Very good stuff. Look at that. Now we got some, some things. So we'll, like I said, we'll run through there. We did get, you know, I'll show you this, into the dungeons. Into the dungeon. Uh, Fire Knight. Where are you? We did get a win. Here you go. First time, 15 minutes. Um, I don't know if the team is still in here. Yeah, this is the team we used to beat it. We did not beat it on auto. All right, we did it manually, and it worked. It was a little wonky, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to replace... Hmm, who was it? I think it was her with somebody else. It was uh, Marquis. Marquis is good because she had the freeze, but she only hits one time, and I think if we can get the shield down faster, that would be a better option for beating this quicker. So, yeah, that's definitely something that we're going to work on, but we actually have a win now. So we have officially now beaten... At least stage one on every single hard mode. We have completed Dragon. We're on stage what? Seven? Where is it? Seven? Where am I? Seven on Spider? Hard mode? We're on stage seven. Yeah, we are now working on stage seven for hard mode in the Spider. And like I said, Dragon is done. So we don't have to worry about Dragon anymore. Literally all done. Completely finished. Completed. And then Ice Golem. We can beat. We just have to take the time to do it because figure... We're looking at 15, 20 minutes per fight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, I mean, this is like two hours of just sitting there watching this ice golem get killed. So, I don't know how I feel about that. We'll, we'll, we'll work on it as we go. Maybe I'll get a couple of fights in when I'm off. But, unfortunately, I have a vacation coming up and a bunch of other things happening. So, yeah, it's going to be a slow few weeks. <laughs> uh, but, otherwise, we're gonna. I'm going to at least try to log in and work on leveling i think that's what we're gonna do uh we're gonna throw iterant in i think we actually almost have enough actually now champions let's look to start working on another six star um where is it what do we got here we go so we've got oh, i was right we got spikehead too another copy of mr spikehead he might almost be done huh i don't know i don't know i feel like he's almost done he doesn't have a lot of skills right Six. Ah, he's, he's got a reasonable amount. I, I know I've, I get a, I've gotten a bunch of copies of him. So right now we have a few three stars. We need to make some for, for the cooker. So we'll probably finish that out today now that we have the EXP boost. We have a lot of heroes here, so as you can see. We can upgrade a bunch and get some points. Um, I actually completely forgot about this whole fusion warm-up thing. So that's also something I've been skipping. The anniversary event, I mean, I'm not trying to get no 50,000... 100,000 points just to get a stupid skin. So we're probably not doing that. Well, not probably. We aren't. There's only two days left. We are going to start leveling heroes now, but I don't. it's not going to be enough to get the skin. So we're not worried about that at all. The artifact enhancement, I actually, like I said, I logged in and it was there. I think we got a little bit because I did a few pieces, but I don't think we're going to be getting much from here unless I get crazy after I sell all that gear off to try to get points for clan versus clan. So that's the, really the only way we're going to get anything else from that. But otherwise, we're going to basically be skipping that and focusing on clan versus clan as many points as we can get. We're going to try to get as many free things as possible. I think I had already done all the quests today. No, we actually were just working on this. Uh, advanced, we are about to get another book here, and then we'll be moving into a legendary. So basically, it's just going to be kind of relaxed at this point which is why we're actually i said on the last video you know we're basically going to be moving into a more kind of low down approach for raid and i'm going to be like 
taking a step back a little bit and starting to play other games because there's really not much else like i don't want to be making game changer videos and i don't want to be like oh my god the new fusion it's amazing like i don't care about that stuff so we're not going to be doing any of that we're just going to kind of work on our heroes and see what we can do to make now better teams so i want to get iterant done and start working on the next six star but i also want to start saving my gold so that we can start rebuilding some of these heroes because i really do want to get some better builds on these heroes so that we can actually do some real damage in some of the higher end dungeons and see how far we can really take this account because right now we're just kind of coasting and i noticed that and i was like yeah we're just coasting through so like i really do want to start pushing on some of the harder content in the game and seeing if we can just kind of get through it um so i do want to rebuild here's the ones that are on my list as of right now uh, I think Cleo's okay right now. She could definitely use a few different pieces. So we'll say Cleo. Gerda, I think, is okay right now. I think she, we might not put her on the list as first. We definitely want to rework Carl and get him some more power. We wanna, I want to get insane crit damage on him, even though he has the highest crit damage. But my main ones would be Mithrala, Yakarl. Still, we're going to have to come up with something. She's still good. She's good how she is, but I, I, I think we definitely could just probably put a ton of speed on her and it would be the same thing so maybe we'll just boost her out in speed and defense and hopefully that would be enough to keep her going because this is just an extra turn which i've seen come in handy but at the other on the other hand that extra turn does hurt me in some spots too so i, I wouldn't be super upset if we just gave her like like look here we go her, her speed's 178 so if i just give her like 250 to 300 speed and a ton of defense on all her gear I feel like it'll negate this crappy set that we have on her now. And her HP isn't even that high. It's like 50,000, right? Right? What is it? Yeah, 47. So I think we can definitely make her better with some speed gear. We'll try it out. I'm not going to throw my gear away. But yeah, we'll definitely take this off of her and then maybe throw that onto another Barbarian for a little bit and see how that goes. Maybe we can even throw this set onto Anointed for the Fire Knight. So that honestly, Anointed may actually be the hero we go for. Uh, let's see who else in here. We definitely want to rebuild Dark Kale. Oh, and I need to get him a little more defensive. He's only 45,000 power. We could easily add like 15k to him. Uh, his gear was just thrown on him, and it, it just seems to work. So we are going to work on him. Grush has already been rebuilt, but we're going to try and find some more speed pieces on him. So we're not going to do a full rebuild on him, but we are going to like look for more speed. Like this doesn't have any speed, so we can get a crit rate with speed on him here. This doesn't have anything we really need. I mean, attack is great, but I think defense would be better for him, right? What, what is he? He's defense hero. Yeah. So we want to start pushing defense on him and less attack. But accuracy and speed and that would be good for him so we definitely have some spots we can work on with him and then these two i like i don't know how much i need to rebuild them but they're they're good enough she could definitely use a rebuild but she's not like it's not like the end of the world it's not going to change anything because we're not really using her for much uh we did our rebuild on him so he's good he's at fifty thousand power we kind of keep rebuilding apothecary as we go we definitely need a new glove that has really good speed and possibly defense I haven't decided, but we definitely want to try to get him somewhere in a in a like 300 range speed. Like we're at 283 right now, so we're not far off. So it's gonna, but that's gonna require me to get like a six star piece here with speed. Like this is basically where we're gonna get that speed from. If I can get a six star speed chest with defense that has a, a really good speed roll on it, that will be where we get our speed from, and then hopefully that'll be enough to catapult him into the 300 range, which would be very good for my account. Uh, she's pretty good. She's already at that 253, right, speed, so she's not terrible. We did do a little bit of a rebuild on her before. We added some pieces, but I don't think there's much we can really do outside of some accessory pieces, like we maybe get some speed over here. I don't know, something. Either way, she's fine. And then, like, either way, she's fine. Uh, I think she's okay where she is. We don't need to work on him. I'm trying to think who else is in here that we need to rebuild. We did a little bit of a rebuild on Solvon. I may be looking for pieces, but I don't know how I feel about it. And then it's really just finding heroes that can beat things, like making sure like I can find pieces that are better than what she's got on, so we can make her a lot stronger, probably get her in like that, you know, get her up to like 200% crit damage and get some crit rate going for her. Like there's a couple of little heroes that I want to work on. Uh, I definitely think Longsword is okay. We, we can work on him a little bit more because he's going to be a big help in the Faction Crypt. So I think we need to build him and make him a little more beefy. We did do a small rebuild on Outrider to get him a little bit more a little more powerful, but he's still a little wonky. <laughs> he's still a bit wonky. Uh, and then we definitely need to do a full rebuild on Armager. So we definitely, we, I, I'm probably going to have to do regen. I don't know if that's the only way to do 
do what I want to do because I don't think Life Steel is going to work with him. I just need him to be able to stay alive. So maybe even the Immortal set, you know, things like that where he can constantly heal every round. It's it's seriously helps keep him alive because his defense, although, and it's also because his defense is low. I mean, that's the flat out right there. Look at that, 31, 24. He doesn't have great defense. So if we can get his defense up, I think that's going to be something that'll really help him not have to worry, you know, rely too much on the freaking HP regen, even though the HP regen is low because he's all defense and no HP. So maybe we'll figure out a way to get him some more HP. His accuracy is a lot stronger. We actually added this banner to him, actually. So we just got this one, and I added it. So this gave him another little bit of defense. I wish this was percentage. Oh, my God, I wish it was the percentage that we got more. Th three rolls on. It would have been so good. But we got 96 accuracy. He had a 78 before. So, yeah, that's basically where we're going to be rolling with this at this point. We're just going to be forward and trying to see exactly what pieces can upgrade which heroes we can upgrade because i want to start really focusing on these dungeons and i want to beat them all all right and, I, and now that we've gotten an idea of fire knight and how that works i am a little more confident that we can come up with a team that works so if we go in here to the champion vault and we find my boy where is he he might even be four star like we haven't messed with him here he is he's four star but he's got a four star awakening which is nice all right so this guy anointed why do i like him well here's why i haven't built any more barbarians because we already beat the barbarian crit but this might be one of those good ones so he attacks one enemy three times and has a 25 percent chance of placing a freeze debuff for one turn immediately amazing for fire knight hard like literally that is the reason that is the main reason we want him because he will he has a 25 percent chance of placing a freeze every time right i'll take it that's great so it's a low chance but hey it's a chance so we can build his speed up he attacks two times which is nice. Each hit has a 75% chance of stealing a buff. Not super important for the Fire Knight, but still good. Two hits. And he fills the turn meter of all allies by 25% and places an increased crit rate buff on all allies for two turns. So, boom. Right there. I like him. But just that A1... I have the hiccups. <laughs> just the A1 could be enough for us to blast through that shield. Um, we may have... I might even consider taking... Um, what is it? I might even consider taking Sil's gear and flopping it onto him when I rebuild her, because that would be perfect, because then I don't have to waste gold on him or silver, and I can just flip-flop it. But this guy's really good, and I, I mean, his reviews are probably whatever. Yeah, Fire Knight, look at that, 4.6. That's why people like him. He's got a really good kit for it. He looks a little, he looks like every other barbarian, <laughs> every other random barbarian in the game, but really good hero, okay? So we are probably going to get him moving. Uh, I don't know what his, how many skill. What does his skills use? He doesn't even need that much. Three, four, five, six books. He's done. Yeah, easy. That'll be the next time we open up uh, the clan shop and get books. He's done. So yeah, I mean that's basically what we're where we're at right now. We're gonna be working on that. I'll let you guys know when we get into the fusion and when things start happening there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing like I said, two videos a week on raid, two videos on God's raid, and one on Eternal Evolution. Live stream will still happen every single week. So uh, five videos one live stream, and that's where we'll be for a while until I can clear up my schedule a little bit more and get out of this job that I'm in. <laughs> uh, but other than that, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys have any, if you have any questions, I hope you guys had a great holiday. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Let me know which hero you think I should build. If you think Anointed is really good, feel free to you know leave a comment on that. It's always good to hear from you guys and like, share, subscribe, help the channel grow. And like I said, we do the live stream every single week, so you can join in. Hopefully, you will be around when I do it since it's, I don't have a schedule that's you know regular. Unfortunately, I can't do it on the same day every day. I would like to try. All right, so yeah, this is it. That's it. Uh, we've got the clan versus clan and all the fun things that are happening. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and you guys take care.